so students today we will be watching our next video next topic regarding the plant cells right so um, that was a previously made math test that was given by our students of Biotrenland hi guys uh, this is Gaurav and welcome back to Biotrenland our channel so in our last topic we have described about how to draw a eukaryotic animal cell right and in this particular video we will watch how to draw a plant cell and we have discussed earlier that what kind of plant cells what kind of the cell organelles should be in there in a plant cell right so let's move on and uh, that's a very easy task suppose this is your paper in the middle and we will be starting from here First, we will draw a hexagon, right? Uh, that should be in freehand. Okay, so this is our hexagon in here, and we have to convert this one into a plant cell, right? Then go for the cell walls. Look how I am doing it. It's quite easy, easy. So you don't have to take it much uh, in a meticulous way right so that has to be a free one okay so in this particular case what we are observing these kind of cells we can observe in the onion pills right so this is a, a big, very regular kind of plant cell and what we know a plant cell consists of a large sized fat wall then we would make a nucleus which would contain certain amount of chromatin in it then a regular mitochondria and afterwards we will be doing the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum in here the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum right in this particular case we don't observe any kind of bulky bodies right in this situation we get certain amount of dictyosomes right and dictyosomes will be in here and they will act as a cistern vesicle like structure they will also help the plant protein plant protein to we construct right so let's see how it can be done okay so this is our endoplasmic reticulum what I have told you earlier that where it is placed in ribosomes we will go to the detailed structure later where we can see that there are multiples of ribosomes in here so this will be our rough endoplasmic reticulum then the smoother surface of this is the smoother surface of endoplasmic reticulum so we will call it a smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the uh, thicker section outside the cell membrane will be known as the cell wall right so in this particular case we will find certain kinds of lysosome structures and afterwards what we will get we will get certain microtubules these microtubules gonna help the plant cells these comes from the nucleus right so what happens if this is a cell structure this cell structure will be maintained by the nucleus via microtubules right these microtubules will also help help during the formation of spindle fiber as the plant do not have any kind of centrosome in it right so uh, that's what that was regarding the demo of centrosome and we will get certain dual membered dual membrane structure that is known as the plastid these are the kitchen of particular plant cell right 
so let's uh, we have got our plant cell and we can now divide this cell wall into triple layer this is a basically a triple layer primary secondary and tertiary layer cell wall right so we will discuss that one in later but before that one what we will see that um, how to level this particular diagram right so this is the basic of it we will wipe off certain places these will work as the cell junctions or glasnodes mater in case of the cytoplasmic junction or in case of the plant cells or in the prokaryote cells right so these are our plasmodes mater okay so that is the basic structure of a plant cell and now what we are gonna do we will take it one by one and demonstrate right first one what I have told you just bring that arrow in a linear section to give it a better look okay so what we have got in here this is our cell wall this is cell wall and that cell wall is divided into three sections primary secondary and tertiary cell wall in between they will have a middle lamina right when we will be discussing about the structures of cell wall we will go through that one okay then what we will have a back wall in here the back wall is quite large in size right then the lysosome okay the membrane of the back wall is known as the tonoplast this is the plasmodes mater the cellular junction and afterwards we have got our powerhouse of the cell that is the mitochondria that is the mitochondria and afterwards here we will get nucleus okay so in this way we will move forward and see what are the different what are the other different types of things are there right so this is uh, that was cell wall and the inner lining is known as the cell membrane this will be known as the cell membrane okay so and then we got our cytoplasm in here now remember cytoplasm and nucleus constitutes the protoplasm so cytoplasm plus nucleus together we call it the protoplasm right so when we will be able to remove the nucleus from the protoplasm the cytoplasm will be there in the cell chair set right okay so this is our rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum this is smooth endoplasmic reticulum these structures this one this one will be known as dictyosomes and afterwards we will get some plastids over here okay so this will be the plastids actually I have taken the wrong one uh, instead of using the lysosome I have taken the plastids in here okay so this will be our lysosomes right so this is the basic structure of the cell 
And what I have told you, T is kind of ray kinds of things, right? They are ray kinds of things, they will be known as the microtubule, which holds the structure of the total cell. Microtubules, these holds the structure of the total cell. So, all in this case, we have got these points and what we have learned that in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum, we will have some ribosomes in here too. So there will be some ribosomes also. So this is all about a plant cell and how gonna we gonna make it, um, how we gonna draw it. This will be our the main structure and these are the main organelles that differ from differ a plant cell from an animal cell right so we will move forward for the next topic of today and that will be our prokaryotic cells and prokaryotic structure and different cell organelles so first we will confirm we will do the eukaryotic structures all the eukaryotic structures and then what we will do we will be going with the prokaryotic structures right okay so let's move on to our next topic and please kindly follow and subscribe our channel for latest update regarding the biology chemistry or physics classes for NEET and any other subjects right okay so uh, stay tuned for our next video